そうそう、ダイヤはね、久しぶりすぎて、そうそうそうそう、久しぶりすぎて、そうそうそうそう。
All right. I was told that we were a little muffled, and uh, I think we had a, a slight sound issue, but hopefully we have that back up and going. If we haven't, we'll apologize again. Um, this weather, when you're dealing with technology and uh, you're basing your whole system on technology, sometimes it doesn't always play in your favor. But uh, other little disclaimer, uh, Tyler wanted us to let you know that it's not his fault, but you will not be able to see the scoreboard tonight. Uh, where the scoreboard's at and the angle in which Tyler's having to set up. Uh, he's not going to be able to view the scoreboard. But uh, Russell and I will do our best to give you a reminder of what the score is and what the clock's showing as far as time on the clock. And uh, we'll make the best of it. We have, we have won the toss and we will receive the football uh, to start the ball game. Got a minute 24 on the pregame clock. And uh, we actually now have 12 minutes on the game clock. And uh, the crowd is light. Uh, here we have, do have a long line um, at the at the gate. At the gate, which is a positive. I guess everybody was waiting just to the last minute.
to uh, get here. I don't blame them. We do have a cheerleading squad on hand today. Uh, band will be absent. But uh, here come your Dardanelle sand lizards right now. You know, J.D., we was talking a little bit there watching pregame, and we didn't have, uh, didn't look like we had a lot of get up in our step out there compared to what we thought possible had. Yes, so I was uh, a little concerned because um, just a little lack of enthusiasm, just to be perfectly honest with you. But um, I know we'll turn that around and get things back up and going in the right direction. Possible's going to tee it up on the 40. And as you said, Russell, uh, you can throw records out the window. You can throw all those things out the window uh, when these two teams meet. Uh, growing up where I grew up, we had our rivalry uh, and all those kinds of things. And, um, you know, just across the river, uh, we have uh, developed over the last few years a, uh, a rivalry and playing for the River Cup, I think is what this one's called. And, uh, you know, I don't. I don't know how much the boys play for a cup. I think they play for a W and some bragging rights. Yeah, that's right. That's just, the cup's just icing on the cake, that's man. That's right. And they go with the onside or a little muff kick. We get it. Get Tom, out there Brandon about Bunton. the 42 or 3, looks like. So we're going to start off with good field position. That was a good job there, but not, um, you know, Brandon came up on that and, and – uh, Made a safe uh, – the official about dropped the ball there as he was tossed it back to him, but uh, <laughs> made a made a safe play there on the ball. Going to have it first and 10, uh, just uh, over the 40 at about the 42 of Pottsville. You know, i got a question. How, how come the officials can't wear little umbrella hats out there in the rain? You know, that, that, that'd look good, pretty cool. It? Little black and white ones, man, that'd look proficient. Good run on first down. He's going to pick up about four there. It'll be second down and about six. Second down and about six. I can't I can't express it enough, and I hate to even say it, but ball security is going to be huge. Yeah, that's that's going to have to be a must in these conditions. We've got to today. stay in front of the chains. We cannot. We've got to stay in front of the down marker. Cannot get back behind the chains. Um, you know, just cannot afford to. Good run right there. Good run. Good run. Going to be short of the first. Oh. Not by much, but I. Whoa, well, oh, he moved up there. Us. Yeah, they're going to give it to us, it looks like. Pick up about five there. Let's see if yeah, they may measure. I don't know. Oh, he's telling them, move them on. First down. It's going to be a first and ten for your sand lizards. Ball's going to be over the 50 at about the 47, 48-yard line of Pottsville. First and ten on this rainy, cool first day of fall. First day of deer season. Little quarterback keeper there runs into his own guy, and he's going to gain about uh, three or four there. I'll Maybe five. We'll about, call it five. About five on a busted play, and really thought they were going to get us for motion, to be honest with you, right there. Yeah. You know, this is one of them times I really appreciate when we're not sitting out there in the crowd tonight. You know what I mean? Yeah, or up on top of a press box <laughs> in a, under a tent somewhere. Yes, sir. Well, I just I just got a text from my brother-in-law. He's a Arkansas football referee, and he said umbrella hats are a no-no. Oh my goodness! It was just a thought, though. Oh, pitch out to Blake. Nice. He's got. Nice. Look at that. Made a good He's cut. Be gone. That's gonna be. Oh, come on, Blake. Come on, Blake. Come He's on, getting Blake. the block. Frank and out in front, and he gets in there. That's gonna be a touchdown for your Sanders. Touchdown, Dardanelle. Good job by Cole Walter right there going up field. Yes, sir. Stumbling, bumbling all the way to the end zone. I Great job right there. He could go all the way, and he did. Yeah, 10-13 left to go in the first quarter. Dardanelle strikes first. This is another going to be another key to the ball game tonight right here. And Kicks up, and we're going to say that one's good. good. With 10-13 in the first quarter, Dardanelle 7, Pottsville 0. We'll be back in just a second.
All right, welcome back. 10-13 left to go in the first quarter. Dardanelle strikes first, 7 and nothing, making the best out of the coin flip. Uh, don't forget to go visit all your folks down at Yale County Gin. Go visit David and all the gang down there at uh, Merritt at uh, Yale County Gin for your Mahindra tractor needs. Yale County Gin. Got the ball teed up on the 40. Good kick. Back to received it about the eight yard line. We got pretty good coverage down there. Good. Hem him up good. right about the twenty five. Ball's gonna be on the twenty five. Right on. Well, yeah, they're probably gonna give him the twenty six. Maybe it looks like. Possible's gonna have it first down and ten. Can I tell you what we're gonna see? What we're gonna see? A lot of running. I, I believe you. You might be right. A lot and a lot of running. They're gonna try to get three or so, maybe four a play. And uh, work in their favor on third down and short. Well, look at here. They now. No, I was going to say First they're in a shotgun, ten. but no, they got a loaded uh, backfield. No. Yeah. Gonna All the, hands on deck here. Going to be the dead. They're going to pick him up about two. Ah, uh, they're going to give him one. Well, I'll tell you what. Watch on the, watch over on the right side of the offensive line. You know how they used to do kind of lean? Yeah. It looks like they're not getting fully set. In, in my professional opinion, but that Second could be Second down and nine, we gripe about that. We griped about that at Prairie Grove. Those linemen are trying to get a trying to get a little head start. Yeah. Second down and eight. That's oh, about nine. Let me take that back. Oh, gonna play a little mind games here. Nice. nice. Yes, sir. Nice. Second down and about uh, eight here. Or excuse me, third down and about eight. This is exactly what we want. This is exactly yeah. what they don't want. That's exactly right. A big play here on defense. Third down and eight. Ball's going to be just about the 28-yard line of Pottsville. 8.57 on the game clock. Seven to nothing here at Cyclone Field. Those of you that are joining in, we did not want to terrorize our football field. Bringing two in motion. Back to pass. Oh, and it's incomplete. Going to bring up fourth and about Brock eight. fought through the blocker. Knocked the blocker down and the quarterback. Going to be fourth down and eight for Pottsville. Couldn't ask for a better job on defense no, there to start. That's a good the, stand right there. To start this. Brandon Bunton deep. We're missing somebody on the offensive side. We're going to run number seven out there. Well, we're missing two people. He's off line. They got. They we got a flag here. The illegal procedure. Going to be fourth and a lot more now. Fourth and about 13. Coach Vega was trying to get this official's attention. And uh, as a coach, he heard the worst words possible. That's not my call. Yeah. Oh. Punch away. We're going to take over at our field position. We're going to improve our field position from yep. all ago, it looks like. Yeah. Well, the last two drives, we started in pretty good shape. This is a little bit better than what we did last time. We're going to take over first and 10, just over the 45, at about the 47-yard line. First and 10. Well, and hey, you know what I saw when I pulled up over here today? Tell me. I saw Cousin Kurt out there in the Winnebago. He did. He, yeah. He called and said that he had wings ready. And I said, there's a lot of rain. Well, that went not real uh, good. Gain of maybe one. We did a little dancing, and our line didn't blow anybody off the ball. We did some dancing. Well, I call that rooster fighting. We're going to pick up about one and a half, maybe. Uh, we'll say one. Be second down and nine. Second down and nine for your lizards. Ball's just shy of the 50 at about the 48. 
Not getting much crowd noise tonight, but uh, this afternoon. But I don't want to put my microphone out in the in the rain. Quarterback keeper right there. Metcalf gets up there enough for Good first hard down. Run. That's going to be a first down. Yes, sir. Going to take it over the fifty to almost the forty. Right at the forty of Pottsville. Going to be first and ten. Great read. He had no pitch out here. They'd mm-hmm. covered all that up. He tucked it up under and picked him up about nine and a half, maybe ten. Well, that's a Actually, good, maybe good about run 11. right there. First and ten ball is going to be at the 40. 7.07 on the clock and running. Low snap. Blake trying to get out here on the corner. Gets drugged down. We're going to call that a gain of one. Uh, nope. No, it's no gain now. No Second gain. down. They're going to run the clock. I thought he drug him out of bounds. But we're going to run the clock. 6.45 and counting. Going to be second and ten. Second and ten. Short side of the field is going to be our side. Quarterback keeper right there. Oh, he breaks loose. Look at there. He, hey, he could Come go. On. Come on. Make Come on. Head fall away. I Come see on. no flags. Touchdown. That's going to be six Darnell. for the Lizards. Six for the Lizards. Six seventeen left to go in the first quarter. Dardnell 13, Patches 0. Boy, that, that play was a little slow developing there, but, boy, I'll tell you what, he, he caught a little crease there and then popped it outside, and, that buddy, was, he's gone. That was nice. That was really good. You know, Metcalf's not not the fastest kid on the field, but um, he beat all their angles. But all you got to do is be faster than the defender. That's it, baby. I'm going to say Pottsville started just a tad bit early. Yes, sir. Dardanelle will we're decline, decline the, the penalty. penalty. But we're going to line her up again and let her go. Kick is up. And Believe we're going to call it good again. With 6.17 left to go in the first quarter. And Dardanelle 14, Pottsville Apache 0. We'll be back in just a second. As we come back live, 6-17 left to go in the first quarter. Dardanelle 14, Pottsville 0. Ball's teed up. Jacinto fixing to give her a kick. Another good kick. Yep. Oh, went over his head. Hey, I believe we're going to get this one on the 20. We're going to give that to him. Got a special shout-out. One of our corporate sponsors, old Malibu Trucking. Yeah, boy. Mr. Jerry Dawson. Uh prayers going out to his mama uh she's still in the hospital miss peggy so uh, i think jerry and christy and maybe some others are gathered around a computer somewhere uh, in a waiting room i believe watching a little lizard football so we're prayers go out to that family first and ten for pots football is going to be at the 20 Going to give him, looks like maybe a three yard gain there. One, two, well, we'll call it a four yard gain. Make it second and six. Second and six for Pottsville. Ball's going to be just shy of the 25 at about the 24 yard line. Second and six. 546 and counting on the game clock. Little handoff, 24, and he's oh, drugged down in the backfield there. there. Yes, great sir. Great play out there. Uh, Cameron Hurst, it looks yep. like. Cameron made a great play there. Fought through a couple of blocks and made a great play. Trace Gentry giving us some action today due to some um, 
not not bad for the sophomore to step up and get to play. That's right. He's had some key key ball playing to, uh, experience this uh, season already. Going to be third and about eight, which is where they don't like to be. Russell, we That's said it while right, ago. That's right, boy. They look to the sidelines for maybe some direction. Oh, option out there, and he's – oh, fumbled. Look at there. Hey, we might have got it. it. We got it. I believe we do. We got more red down there and white. I believe – yeah, we come up with it. Look at there. Big Isaac. Big oh, Isaac. Woo. That's my ball right there, boys. Boy, right there. I used to there. use this with Caden. <laughs> yeah, playing. I, yeah. He thought that was a Twinkie. That's right. Got some Cheetos loose on the field, boy. Jump on her. We'll take it. Dardanelle will take over first and 10 at the, the Apache 19-yard 19. 19 line. That's the best field position we've had to start a drive yet right there. Boy, howdy. Shout out to the Chicken Whisper and Miss Anita. They're That's on their right. way to Arkadelphia. Yeah, they're down there for a little watch, uh, uh, Washington Baptist Tiger they football. They were going to try to watch it on the iPad as long as they had some signal. First and 10, balls at the 19. Quarterback keeper. And we got a and flag on the there field. Was some, probably some motion. There. Yeah, it looked like we didn't get set real good. Legal procedure against the Sand Lizards. Going to back us up five. Be first and 15 from about the 24 yard line. I would assume they'd take it. Oh, they're going to decline it. Be well. second down and 10. What was that? What was that call? It's a procedure penalty. Would have been brought back five and first and 15 rather than second and 10. I don't know why they didn't take that one, but hey, I'll take it. I hear their fans yelling at the Pottsville Apaches to get fired up. 436 on the game clock, eight on the play clock. A little pitch out there to Blake. He got a, oh. Picked up uh, about five there, maybe six. It's going to be third down and about uh, four and a half, maybe. Yeah. We'll say five. Third and five. Third That's and five. That's very manageable, but I'd like for it to be in a lot less than that, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Third and five for your Lizards. Ball's just shy of the 15 going into the end zone at about the 14. Oh, dang it. Got a motion penalty again, number three. You might look for a little RPO yep. out here. Of course, as wet and nasty as it is, I... I, uh, well, I just don't know. I watched this throw and catch in pregame. And <laughs> it wasn't pretty. It wasn't anything to write home about. But, no, uh, sir. We're going to have third and 10. Third and 10, 338 left in the first quarter. Little pitch out there. Got one wide. Oh! Oh! He was wide open. Oh! You know he wants that one back. Oh, mercy. Wow. Mercy, Sam. Sam, 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 Hey, look, Sam. we're going to kick us a field goal here. Look here. Sam, 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 Sam. I guarantee you Sam wants that in Ooh, back. 327 left to go in the first quarter. Dardanelle 14. Pottsville 0. Jacinto, I believe, number 4. He's going to try to put three more on the board for us. I watched him kick several of these in pregame. Late comer out there for us. One shy. Nope. Look at there. Can he go? No, he can't, can he? No. Nope. They could have. That was not the prettiest. No, sure it wasn't. Field goal attempt. You got way under it. Possible will take over first and 10. Should be from the 20, but unless they did Pottsville touch the ball? 
I don't know if they did. I thought they might have. Uh, they may. That's maybe what they're talking about. I don't know. It'd be no different than us kicking it like we do. That's right. Uh, that's the ball true. did not go in the end zone. That's true. That was we planned that. That was a great punt. I mean, that, you you couldn't have done that any better. That was a pooch field goal attempt. Pins them back at about First the eight yard line. Coming around here. Oh, good tackle right there. No, sir. Going to give him back to the line of scrimmage. It's going to be second and ten. You know, that's second the thing. When you when you face somebody like this, I mean, you can stack the box up. But it's just like what we said. You know, you got to watch that little little dump pass awake. out there. Got to stay awake. Now, I mean, we're doing a good we're doing a good job in between the tackles because they haven't uh, broke anything out for any any yards to to talk about really. 250 and counting in the first quarter. 14 to 0. Yeah, they're moving up there on that line, boy. I didn't Ball's get no on the ground there. again. Fumble. Ball's on the ground again. We got it again, looks like. Yes, sir. That's what that little pooch pump yes, was sir. for yes, right sir. there. They knew they was going to fumble. An extra spot. You know, and, it, and this right here is exactly what we talked about, you know, right there at the start of the game about – Keeping on, uh, well, look at there. Chicken whispers down, going down the highway. Shh, 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 shh. Mama's oh. driving and he's got the computer woo, on. Woo. <laughs> Just in case anybody was listening, <laughs> we didn't want to get the whisper right. in trouble. Be first and 10. For, excuse me, first and goal. Excuse me, that sounds even better. First wow. and goal from about the six. Well, that's the second turnover for Pottsville. Yes, sir. And we're still in the first quarter. Quarterback keeper, we got a penalty. Uh, he he gets in a touchdown, but I believe that's coming back. I'm sure. Yep, he moving his flag up there. A little hold there. Ah, uh, I didn't see who uh, that was on. Well, I didn't see it either. We don't have any idea who these officials are, like we never do. But that's right. Just we're hang about on. to get. We're about to give them some <laughs> names. We can look here on a little instant replay up here and see who that was right there. Yep. 55, Cole looked like he got him just a little, little bit, jersey. Just a little bit. Not bad, but just enough for him to throw the hanky down. See, that's the advantage we have up here. In the, we're actually, what you're seeing is actually 35 seconds Delay. behind what we're actually visualizing. So we have an opportunity on our iPad up here to see the play. After it happens. 235 and counting. Another quarterback keeper right there. Metcalf gets back up to uh, about the 11. 11. Going to be second and goal from the 11. Second and goal from the 11. 213 and counting in the first quarter. Dardanelle leads this one 14 to 0. Pottsville has not done a whole lot yet offensively. You know, it's amazing when you don't throw a pass how long a quarter takes, how long 15 minutes actually is, or 12. It's hitting college football. But, yeah, it uh, when you keep that baby on the ground, uh, that clock runs a long time, seems like. A little movement. I don't know if they're going to call that offsides or, oh, illegal procedure. Oh, oh, we're on offense. Look at there. Hey, Nathan. where am I at? <laughs> Nathan Smith there left yep. a little early. Saying that, and again, that's what we talked about earlier, you know, pre-snap penalties, man. We've got to watch. I mean, I know right now it's not been detrimental to us, but, man, you get in a tight game, that right there, that right there will hurt you. Be second and goal still from about the 16. Yep. We're going to send Deathridge out wide to Pottsville's boundary. It's a new little look in the backfield. Oh, he's open. He's open. Turn around. Nope. Dang it. Oh, wide open. Yeah. It's about as good as it's going to get probably with the, yeah. with the uh, condition of the. If he could have hit him about four steps before he then, man, he was wide open. That guy's giving him a pretty good cushion over there. Gonna be third and go. One eighteen on the clock. Clock stopped due to the pass incomplete. We're gonna go trips. 
to our boundary. Ball's going to be right about the middle of the field, maybe shaded more towards our side, but we'll say in the middle of the field. Well, I'm going to tell you, that rain ain't let up yet. Third and goal. Oh, look at here, look at here. Hang on, baby. Good play right Good there. Going to be fourth and short. Oh. I'm bringing boy. in the heavies or the heaviers. Going to be fourth down and go from about the four. Fourth and go from the four. Mm. Hold your water, boys. Hold your water. 48 seconds on the game clock, 12 on. We're going to probably run this one out and call us a timeout. Yep. We're going to go ahead and call a timeout. So with 38 seconds left to go in the first quarter, Dardanelle 14, Pottsville 0. We'll be back in just a second. As we come out of this timeout, going to be fourth and go from about the four. Big shout out to Coach Stumbo, listening somewhere afar off. Oh. It could be up the road, but I, I don't know. <laughs> but he's. Looks like they're bringing a little heat right here, a little pressure. Oh. He threw that in double coverage. There. Yes, yes, he did. But, Close uh, quarters, double covered. Pottsville will take over first and 10 from about the four. They have a little moral victory because they stopped us. 34 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Dardanelle 14, Pottsville zero. Hey, We're going to get the ball on their hash. You know, it's been kind of nice. We've had the action right down here in had front. I'll have to adjust my seat here when we go down to the other end of the field here directly. Yeah. You know, we're. We're pretty uptown. We've got an injury tent or That's right. a dry tent or something. You know, I've seen that before. Like, I saw it up on top of a press box <laughs> at Prairie Grove a couple of weeks ago. 34 left to go in the first quarter. That'd be 34 seconds, 16 seconds on the play clock. Defensively, we've been doing pretty good today. We just don't need to let them. Let them sneak that little pass in right here and smoke us for about 20. We need to keep them down there. And look at there, boy. He cut loose out there and got him a first down on a good run. They're going to pick up a first down there, 27 on the 27 seconds in the first quarter. They're going to stop it as, as the chains move. They'll set them and start it again. 27 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Pots will have it first and 10 at the 15, at their own 15. Let's see if they want to run another one here. You know, this is just assignment football here. They're going to smash us in the mouth, and we've got to continue to fill gaps and be ready to make a tackle when we need to. Counter. A little rookie Counter. dude there. That didn't go anywhere. No, sir, it didn't. Gain of about maybe two maybe, feet. Maybe they may, maybe give him a yard on the fall forward. That's going to be the end of the first quarter where your Dardanelle Sand Lizards lead the Pottsville Apaches 14 to nothing. 14 to nothing. That quarter of football was sponsored by Malibu Trucking. Hey, load them like a box car and drive them like a stock car. Can't guarantee all your load will get there, but we'll guarantee some for all your transportation needs. Malibu Trucking. Call Mr. Jerry Dawson and Malibu Trucking. We'll be back in just a second.
Pottsville's got it second down and about nine. Well, lo and behold, Rashad has done showed up. You mean he he braved the weather and come out here? That might be the smallest umbrella I've ever seen. Uh, no, now it's what? it's probably a big umbrella, oh, but okay. Rashad's not the smallest of fellas. Okay, second down. Me and him got a lot in common now. Second down and nine for Pottsville. <laughs> A little full back up the pipe. Gets about two or three falling forward there. Seventy's wearing out about whoever he can find to wear out. But, yeah, he is. But more than, but, but they got a problem. He can only block one at a time. That's exactly right. It'll be third and long for Pottsville. It'll be third and about, uh, what, about seven. eight? Seven. Seven? I'll call that a long seven. We'll take it. 11.37 left to go in the second quarter. Dardanelle 14. Look Pottsville at there. He's going to. He going to the tent. Of course. Who I wouldn't have thought that. His, he doesn't want to get his equipment. <laughs> That's right. His his photography equipment. We're going to call a timeout here. Coach Russ is going to call a timeout. Third and about seven with 11 19 who's this, on the clock. Who's this timeout sponsored by, JD? Uh, this this uh, timeout sponsored by Wit Farms. Wit Farms. If you won't know anything about chicken, you talk to the chicken whisperer himself, Jimmy Witt. Witt Farms for all your poultry and cattle. They even know stuff about donkeys. Information. <laughs> He's an expert. That's right. On them. That's what that's what Anita said. Third and about seven here for Pottsville. Uh, look at some scores from last night in Class 4A. Warren done whooped up on Cross at 49 to 24. Hamburg beat DeWitt 42 to 18. P Ridge beat Gentry 27 to 7. Gosnell 40, Cave City 7. Nashville beat Arkadelphia 28 to 23. Ozark put a beat on Mina 20 to 0. Prairie Grove beat Green Forest 63 to 0. That's a whooping right there. Stuttgart beat Batesville Southside 35 to 15. Pottsville's got it third down. Oh, my Lord, they split two out. Looky here. Lo and behold. Back to pass. Oh, and he gets hammered, fumbled the ball, and we got it on about the six-yard line. It. Give it. You better get it up. Uh, they got it back. Oh. That gummit. That was a great, a great blitz there coming off the corner. I better get this screen back up where we can see what's going on. A great blitz there off the corner. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Miss Miss Anita said leave her out of anything regarding <laughs> the chicken Andrew whisper. to Jimmy. All right. He's back in the middle of his end zone with the punt there. Gets off a decent pump. Going to have a fair catch. Looks like at oh, about goodness. the 41. Oof. Oof. I'm glad he hung on to that Oof. one. As wet as that thing is. Yeah. Dardanelle's going to take over first and 10 after the punt at the Pottsville Apache 41-yard line. You know, I'm going to tell you, looking out here, hey, we got a pretty good crowd for a Saturday and a and, and rainy day. We ended up having a good crowd. Yes, sir. I'm impressed. Considered. Looks um, like we. I'm going to say we got about twice as many as Pottsville's got over there. But, hey. hey. I, I, um, I just feel like I need to. We were going to, last night at the ballgame, had been played at home. Well, I'll talk about it after this play. 11.07 left to go in the first, or excuse me, second quarter. Dardanelle takes over first and 10. Oh, Blake got a good hole right there running behind number 70. Good job. Good job. Going to be second and short. Second and short. We're probably going to go right to the line. No, we might huddle. But anyway, last night at our home game, we were going to pass the buckets for Drake. Um, Manis from, from Pottsville, the young man that suffered the, the uh, spinal cord injury back in uh, the summer. June or July. Yeah. Yes, sir. And, you know, he's he's doing a great job, and, and he's uh, recovering well. Um, he's recovering well up in – he's in Baltimore, Maryland. And um, they're going to pass the buckets – um, and give a donation to that family. And uh, I, I do want to um, send a shout-out. I, I, he's probably not watching our broadcast, but um, 
if he is, we're praying, continue to pray for him and for that family. And that's I know everybody right. that's involved with that. Um, uh, so sand lizards are, are praying for Drake. Jardell's going to have it first and 10. I did not think we had a first down there, but we're going to have it first and 10. Works so well one way, we're just going to go the other way. Yep. That wasn't quite as successful there. We'll He's going to gain there. about two, yeah. Going to be second down and about eight, looks like. Second down and eight. Ten minutes even on the game clock. 25 hadn't started yet on the on the play clock. And here we go. Going to be second and about eight for the Sand Lizards. Making some adjustments both ways. Ah, oh, dad gummit. Oh, we that that's that's the third proceed third or fourth procedure penalty we've I, had tonight. I'm gonna give that one to the center. I don't think Zach um, I think Metcalf motioned and was ready to roll and so uh, they were waiting for I'm gonna bring up uh <laughs> It'll be second about 12 for your sand lizards. Makes things a little different. Oh, great read. Oh, look at there, boy. Hey, he's going. He's going. He's in. That'll be another six for your lizards for the good guys. All right, try it. Great read by Metcalf. I, that was a great read. That was just a op, simple option play. And uh, five swining about probably some holding, but uh, – 9.24 left to go in the second did quarter. You, did you see him? Z his, at, he was running like them boys from Malibu Truck and drive them big trucks. Boy, they all, I mean, he's going all over the like place. He's going up seven. That's right. <laughs> 9.24. Oh, I believe we got a little jump off there. Offsides. I'd take it and go for two. <laughs> well, I guarantee you. Drive I, the nail in the coffin. I decline it. We're going to decline it. Oh, loose, loose ball on the snap. And he fumbled it. And we're, oh, boy, howdy. That wasn't, DeSento didn't land too good there, boy. That hurt me, son. If that had been me or you, we'd been man down right there. Man down. Watch this, boy. <laughs> Man down. I guarantee you, son, I wouldn't I'd still be down. Man down. The only good thing about a, a fall like that, if you're short, you ain't got very far to go. You, you know what I mean? We're gonna tee it up and kick it off. Nine twenty four left to go in the second quarter. Dardanelle twenty. Pots full zero. I I guarantee you this, I sure wouldn't have been able to go out there and kick kick off right after I crashed like that. No. I, I cannot pronounce his last name to save my life, but um, I believe I could be wrong. But I believe we have a foreign exchange student. I could be wrong. But I believe we have a foreign exchange student on the kickoff, number eight. I think that's him. I'm not real sure. David. Mm, line drive. It's a good returnable kick here. Mm, but he got buried up at about the 34-yard line. They're going to have a little decent field, field position here, better than they have in the past. They're going to take over first and 10. We rocked him a little bit. Yeah, he's a little right, slow we, getting we up there. We rocked him pretty good. Yeah. He first, I can hear. We got the window open up here, and you can hear the I, pads I are popping. One, I heard that one pop. It'll be first and ten, just shy of the thirty-five at about the thirty-four yard line for Pottsville. You know the the last three series, Pottsville has fumbled the ball. I mean that last one, they fumbled it down there on about the two, ended up recovering it and had to punt. But you know that's that's one thing that you know when they do all this motion, cut back, and all this, and that dead tee. I mean. You got to hang on to the football. First and ten. He should have gave. On yes, that one. he should have. He missed his read there because that fullback. He still got two or three. Our uh, our crack score update staff um, is is back across the river, and um, 
Uh oh, that's not good. Looks so like we may have a sprained ankle there. That's some heavy duty hopping right yeah. there. Yeah. Still hopping. We need to get that one wrapped up. Even if he's peg legged out there, he, <laughs> Big Isaac needs to be out there. Yeah. Gonna have to clear the tent though. That's We've got right. So many people under the tent. We ain't got room get for off our, the bench. Our player. Possible's going to have it second down and about eight. Second down and about eight. But our crack score update staff uh, back across the river uh, says that Bama's 31, A&M's 13 at half. I'd like to continue to hear those scores come in. Oh, Got a timeout. Oh, oh, Coach Russ, I heard him up here. He's not happy yeah. in that rain suit. 8.34 left to go in the second quarter. Dardanelle 20, Pottsville 0. We'll be back in just a second. Be second down and eight as we return, 834 on the game clock after a possible Apache timeout. Look here, back to pass. Going to roll one out there in the flats, and he's covered up, so he's going to take off. And Good stick. I guarantee Good you. Good stick by David Detheridge there. He's going to pick up about three there, maybe four. Did a great job covering that out here. They were trying to get the number two out here in the flats. A little wheel route looked like. 8.27, clock stopped as he went out of bounds. Eight twenty-seven left to go in the second quarter. Ball's going to be at about the 41-yard line of Pottsville. Looking for a big play out of our defense right here. Need to stop right here. They broke the tee. They're going single receivers both ways. Oh, I don't believe he's going to get it They're there. Gonna he's going to gain him maybe one on They're gonna that be one. Short. It's going to be fourth and about two there, depending on where the spot's at. Yep. Yeah, fourth and two. Just under a minute, Ole Miss leading. I think that's Kent State, if I'm not mistaken, 38 to 17. Georgia's beat Missouri, or beat Missouri 43 to 29. I know y'all got all those. Y'all probably watching those at home on your other devices, but uh, our score staff has continued to send those in to us because we wanted to hear them. Oh, he got the first down and then a little more. That gives possible something to cheer about over. They ain't had just a whole lot to cheer about. They're close to the they're close to the midfield strap as they've been all day. Yes, sir. It's gonna be first and ten. DJ Brown checking in there at nose tackle. Isaac's up down there. He's not walking real well, but he's up. They don't need to come down there and just wrap that bad boy up. Like I said a while ago, whether it's a stick on that uh -huh. leg or something. First and ten for Pottsville. It's about the 47-yard line. Boom handle. Oh, there you go. Good play Good right there. Great pursuit. We could have had him drop. Well, we got us a flag here. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to be on Blake or who. Uh, no, mm -mm. I think it's going to be on uh, Finkenbinder. No, maybe not. Yep. Personal foul. 
It's going to be on Finkenbinder. That's yeah. one. He can't have another one. 70's wearing him out over there. We need some help on 70. We need somebody to uh, help us. That's a big boy. Yes, he is. Brock's got to keep us cool. When he's driving him down the field like that, if he dropped to his knees, he ain't going no further. I mean, Brock dropping to his knees. Texas beating TCU 10 to 6, five minutes before half. First and 10 for Pottsville. They're going second back through. Good job, but DJ Brown there fought off a block and made the tackle. Nice job. 6.35 left to go in the first half. Dardanell 20, Pottsville 0. Pottsville's desperately needing some points on the board here. We don't want them to, but they're That's desperately right. needing yeah, some. They're wanting some pretty bad. We won the opening toss and got the kickoff to receive to start the ball game. Going to be second and about eight for Pottsville. They still broke the tee. They're going to split both sides. Hand off to the second back through. He's going to pick up about three there, maybe four. Be third and five, it looks like, Russell. Third and 70, five. Seventy's punishing folks out there, boy. Yeah, we'll see how long he can go. He's got both hands on his hips, and he's hurting a little bit. He's walking to the line. Yes, he is. Walking to the line. Third and five. Big play here. Oh, good play on defense right nice there. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. They're going to give him to the back to the line of scrimmage, but it's – they could have done a yard or two back probably. It's going to be fourth and five. Fourth and five for Pottsville. I'm su I would assume they're going to go for it. Hold your water, boys. Watch the ball. We'll see. Oh, he's going Is that their punter? No. Watch. Here we go. Watch the ball, boys. Watch the ball, boys. Oh, he's open too. Dad gummit. What a duck. Horrible pass. Great catch. Horrible coverage. They ran two out. We went on we we bit on the tight end and left the back out open. Not really good there. Yeah, he was wide. There wasn't anybody eight covered, yards from covered him. Covered him a while ago, but the tight end didn't go out a while ago. Yeah. So uh Going to be first and 10. Ball's going to be over the 20 at about the 19 for Pottsville. 430 and counting. Second back through. Got the ball. We're going to pick up a pretty good chunk there. About seven there. Going to be second and about three. 415 uh, left four. to go in the second quarter. Second down and four. Clock's still running. Seventy still walking to the line. Three fifty-six and counting. Ball, oh, we got it. Fifty-one got it. Run, Prince. There we go. We needed that one. Oh, they calling him down. This is Dardnell's ball. Yes. Yeah. There we go. Well, make that four times in there a row. Was, there was no way the kid was down. No, he was not down. I don't know what they was discussing out there. We're going to take a turnover there with 344 left to go. Oh, and see, so he was down. Our kid was down on the knee Yeah. when he picked it up. They'd already blown it dead. Jacob Prince with the recovery. He caught it in the air and went down on his knee. Quarterback keeper gain of about, we're going to call it three yards. Somebody's down. I don't know who it is. 50. Is that Ali? Ali Ramirez? Yeah. Hey, look at here. Isaac's coming back in. 
I'm glad to see that. I think they're cutting, maybe. Got to be doing something. Three twenty on the game clock, fifteen on the play clock. Pretty good run. Picked up about uh, two or three there. Going to be third and manageable. Third and four. Yeah. Third and four. A lot of leg holding and leg stretching and limping around. Third and four. Ball's going to be over the 15 at almost the 17. Need a big, need a big play here. Mm, I was going to say, we're moving there. Another pre-snap penalty. Man, it's killing us, Russell. We've got it's to clean that us. up. White Hat shaking his flag off her. It must be a little damp for some odd reason. 237 left to go in the second quarter. That knocks us back five. It's going to bring up about third and eight now for your Sand Lizards. Shout out to a couple of buddies of mine, Kirk McConnell and Brian Cooper, watching it in Marlton. There you go, little devil dog country. Well, I think he's showing them how to how how you win a football game. I'm just oh, that kidding. was not good there. It's all right. He just wanted to see how high tech we were over here in Yale County. That's what it was. Deathridge is gimping down here a little bit too. Jeez. Well, fourth and ten. We lost some more on that one, about four. Fourth down and ten. This makes me a little nervous right here, Russell. Gonna have Brandon Bunton holding. That ball's slick, ball's wet. We just need to get the ball down and get it kicked. Yeah. 138 and counting. Got get the there, kick get away. There, get there, get there, get there, get there. DJ missed him. Brock missed him. And we got oh, us we a got flag a here. We're going to bring it back a few yards. I would assume it's a hold. It might be a block in the back. 119 on the game clock. Yep. Michigan beat Nebraska 56 to 10. Wow. Woo. West Virginia's beating Kansas State 28 to 3. Clemson's beating Georgia yeah, we Tech had a 35 to foul. 7. Really? Yes, sir. Perfect foul right there. It'll be first and 10 for Pottsville with 119 on the game clock. Left to go in the second quarter. Dardanelle's 20, Pottsville 0. Coach Russ is looking for some explanation. Your guy did something illegal to our guy and caused a 15 yard penalty. That's right. That's There you go. Son, hey, you know, it's raining know. today. I don't know <laughs> what else to tell them. <laughs> But your guy did something bad to the guy in the red and caused you 15 yards. That caused the yellow flag to hit the turf. And then I, I love it how the officials are shaking their flags That's off. That's right, before. popping the water off of it before they stick if, it back you know, in their britches. We had music, we do like shake your tail That's right. or something. But uh, first and 10, ball's going to be at about the 43-yard line. We're maneuvering some defense around. They've broke the tee again. Oh, fumble there, the fumble ground. there. We got, we got it. We got it. He did not want any part of that football. Look at there. That is crazy. Their quarterback didn't even hit the ground. No. Last five possessions, Pottsville has fumbled the football. But now the thing about it is we've only been able to capitalize on, uh, I believe, uh, the last two or the having on the la the two before this. But now, Russell, that's way more thinking than we can possibly do up here. Well, it, it's hard for me to get it out. It's so complicated. We're on the road, and our analytical staff's not with us. I mean, the chicken <laughs> whisperer's not with us. 
we, we have his booster seat here, That's but he's right. not here. First and ten for San Lizards as we take over in the second quarter with 117 left to play before half. We're going trips to the wide side, which will be Pottsville's boundary. Oh, look at there. Look, oh, a little hook and ladder. Come on, come on. And come Blake on, could go. On, he will go all the way. Touchdown. That was set up perfect hey, right there. I've watched that ran for years and years and years and years. And that, uh, was that was executed that was great. great. I mean, that was – you could not have asked for a better play. I mean, had them set up, boy, Great they job. bit. Brandon Bunton with the – it only works if you can make that throw. That's right. Then it only works if, guess what? He catches the, the pitch. the guy catches. That's and right. And then it only works if we catch the pitch. So, uh, with 107 left to go in the second quarter. Yeah, watch this. Boy, that was pretty right there. Bang. Oh, yeah. I mean. And he gave him a stiff arm at about the five. Yep. Boom. And that was good by the skin of your chinny-chin-chin chin yeah. right there. So with 107 left to go in the second quarter, we've struck again. San Lizards have struck again. 27 to zero will be your score. That's right. 107 left to go in the second quarter. I just heard Mr. Cotton say that we're going to move the. Uh, bucket collection for drake to homecoming that'll be good uh, which will be october uh, i do believe he's going to get to come home and sometime in october if, conti if things continue to, to that's do well. awesome so uh like i said we're continuing to pray for him and we got the ball teed up jacinto with another good kick Oh, fumbled down on about the 12. He picks it up. I start to say that might not end well, but that yeah. was, we had good coverage. Yes, we did. Good coverage. He's going to pick it up and carry it back about seven or eight yards. Going to take over first and 10. About the 24. At Pottsville's, I'm going to say, yep, 24. Good job. Well, if we could if we could come out of this half with a zero on that other side, I'd be super pumped. Russell. Oh yeah, all we got. Hey, we only got sixty seconds left. Fullback. Well, there's the oh, second there. guy. They, no, that was they've put two at fullback now. Yeah. I could be wrong. He could have been on the other side of the tee, but I think they put him at fullback. He picked up three or four there. I don't know. I think 17. Is he tied in or fullback? Number 17? He was yeah. a tied in a okay. while ago. Drew okay. Rust. That's Drew Rust. That's Coach Rust's son. Well, now he's got two backs back Going here. twins to their boundary. Handoff right there to number two again. Good job. Isaac Caro out there. Yep. Did a great job out there. Just kind of plugging a little bit. He picked up a couple. Uh-oh. Three's holding his arm there. Is that Cameron? Yeah. Yep. I think you got an old stinger. Yep. To be perfectly honest with you. Russell, I'll call that a half. That, that's uh. hey, I'll take that right there. 27 points for four and zero against. I'll, I'll take that every day. We put 20 on the clock. No, we're going to change that. 15. 15 is going to be on the halftime clock. 10? And, uh, 15. 20 oh, okay. did. And here 15, we go. Yep. And we'll be back in just a minute. You're going to have to enjoy um, rain. Go get you something to drink. Watch some uh, Pop college you, football. Throw you some popcorn in the microwave. Do something there for 15 minutes because we'll we're be not going to have a band out here. So. And we'll be back in just a second.
Welcome back to Cyclone Stadium, where your Dardanelle Sand Lizards are defeating the Pottsville Apaches 27 to 0. Russell, I've got the same thing I've said the last uh, three ball games. I, I did not quite see this one coming like this. Well, not not quite to the magnitude uh, that we're ahead right now. You know, the, just like what we talked about earlier, man, that, that first half, Possible has fumbled a ball five times. And, I mean, if if you fumble, if you turn over the ball that many times, it's hard to hard to be in the ball game sometimes. Yes, sir. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and we're, we're far from over. And we've seen they had a uh, – Boonville had a big lead on them um, week two. Uh, actually, week one. Uh, but uh, – and they uh, they battled back, and and you know Boonville, Boonville ended up beating them twenty eight to twenty six, and but uh, you know it's kind of the same thing. It's far from over, but uh, we uh, we definitely uh, thrashed them in the first half. Yes, we did. We had lots of help. Uh, they turned the ball over uh, multiple times, as Russell said, and we capitalized a few times and ran a hook and ladder play that's been around for a long, long time, and we've tried to run it for years and years and years, and we've, we've been successful running it, but not um, – it's the first time I've seen us capitalize like we saw it there. Um, great um, – just great all the way around as far as uh, that play developing and everybody doing what they have to do. You know, everybody's got to do a certain thing in that play or that play doesn't work. And so from start to finish, we uh, – we did well. Yes, we did. A little more enthusiasm out of our guys coming out of halftime uh, than we saw before the game. I was a little concerned um, as we both talked about our uh, lack of, of pep or energy that we saw or didn't see there in the first half and our, our at the pregame. But um, we see a little different um, pep now. I was ensured by Coach Taylor that we're just not a raw, raw type group, but when the lights come on and the horn blows, go we're, time. we're ready to play. And that's exactly what we saw. What we don't need here, I mean, we'll just be perfectly honest with you, we do not need to see uh, any type of big return here. Um, well, we just need to be playing ball like we've been playing the first half. You know, get down there on the coverage, defense toughen up, you know, bend a little bit, but not break. And then uh, continue to move the ball on offense. Got a fresh 12 on the clock. Yeah. And the ball's in the air. Bobbled again on about the eight. Oh, and he's hit pretty good there. He's going to wrestle around about the 24. Possible will take over first and 10. We kind of treated him rough um, on the way down. He's not <laughs> Yeah, he's not. <laughs> he he kind of got mad at his own guy. Um, I did hear that if they were if if we had a scorecard for mouthing, that they might be winning. But um, Russell's getting his earpieces in here, but uh, not earrings, but earpieces. Possible takes over first and ten at about the twenty-four yard line. Well, you know, Possible's always been. Been apt to uh, talk a little bit out there while they're playing. Going to pick up about four there. Good job by Lamelli. Big 61 there. Christian Lamelli making a good play. He fought off a blocker and found the ball carrier. They're going to have it second down and about seven. Second and seven. Our crack producer at halftime ran and got us a Diet Dr. Pepper a piece. Yes, and, uh, he did. He took care of us. And did not bring my change back. Uh-oh. Uh oh. <laughs> well, you just told him not to drop it. That's he right. may still have it in his pocket. They're going twins. Their boundary. They broke the tee. And hand off to second the second man. Good oh, job good by, stick. By Metcalf. Yep. He found him in the hole. They're going to pick up two there, maybe three. Hey, looky there. The producer brought us my, my change back. <laughs> That'd be Connor. All about third and third and four or five there, left four. We might say third and four and a half. Yeah, 1040, 1039, clicking away there in the third quarter. You know, this is, I, I can honestly say this is my first Saturday game. High school game. Yeah, high school I've ever had. Oh, Great play. I Great play. 
Christian Lamelli blew that up in the backfield. He did not make the tackle, but he blew that up. He slanted on the inside towards the ball. Yes, he did. As he boy. read the zone. That's going to bring up fourth down and about four. And four and a half. They got five on the board with 10 10 on the game clock, 27 to zero. Your Lizards lead. Pottsville comes out in punt formation. We do not need to move across the ball here. Scooped it off the turf. Get it. Oh, that's probably smart. We all, I thought we might be doing that fake fair catch yeah. play right there. Yeah, uh, North Texas style. Oh, shh. I, I don't want to hear about them, but I just. <laughs> uh, they just scored again a while ago, North Texas State. Oh, they did. did. Yeah, against Arkansas. And Arkansas is actually in Auburn, but. Uh, <laughs> 946, we're going to take over our first possession of the second half. Let's see if our offense can can keep something positive going. We really need to work on our pre-snap penalties. Russell, we've talked about that for two of three games, and it hadn't necessarily hurt us yet as far as being detrimental to our to our win or loss, but we know eventually it's going to it's going Yeah, to we've got up. to clean them up, though. Blake Chambers gets nice hit in job. the backfield. I don't think he's going to gain maybe four. Ten getting up there a little slow, hobbling a little oh, bit. Oh, you're okay, Jorge. I'm gonna pick up about four, right? And what I that's see. What I, I, that's what it looked like to me. I was gonna be over the thirty at about the thirty-two. Don't forget to go visit your folks at Yale County Gin. Go be, go visit David Merritt and all the guys down there for all your <coughs> Mahindra tractor needs at the Yale County Gin. Second down and about six. Metcalf with a keeper. He's Good going. Good read. Good read. We're going to be, we're going to be short of the first down. They're going to keep the clock running, for some unknown reason. Right, it's going to be third and one, be though. Third That's and what one. I call it. Third and one for your lizards. You know what they say down there at the gin, don't Tell you? Tell me. Go red or go home. Go red or go home. Eight forty-five and counting. Third quarter. Twenty-seven to zero. Hardaway, hey, hey, hate them, and they stopped coming out of the huddle. They're going to get things back together, and here we go again. 8.34 on the game clock, 14 on the play clock. Third and one, a true one. Quarterback keeper, he's got it and then some. And, and some. Be first and 10 at the 44. Once again, I know you're probably watching these, but uh, – Alabama 45, A&M 16. I don't have to tell you this, but Bama's pretty good. Russell. Bama is uh, – uh, Bama would give possible to run for the money. <laughs> Bama might be as tough as I've seen them in a while. And <laughs> yeah. And they've been pretty good, obviously. You know, there's no – you know, they don't have to uh, – they just reload every year. So We're going twins to our boundary. Don't call a timeout. Got a timeout by Vega. We had a play called, and Metcalf did not like what he saw out of the defense there. He was pointing, I think, to the corner maybe, or maybe the safety had rolled up maybe, and uh, Jordan was sure pointing, letting the coaches know that he did not like what he saw. Yeah. And so as he was doing that, as he was doing that, the uh, actually the play clock uh, was winding down. So. Uh, Gonna be first and ten for your lizards. Ball's gonna be about the forty-four yard line. Forty-four yard line. I can tell you what it was. Number thirty-five knew what the play was gonna be. He was pointing at at bunting. Oh, good, good catch. Great catch. We thudded hard on the ground there by Metcalf. Good catch by, by Dethridge. He's a little hobbled this afternoon as well. Yeah. We got a second. lot of guys hobbling around a little bit. Be second in about three. 733 in county. Little counter, Blake got a good hole there, baby. He's going. Oh, got him. 
<laughs> right down there at about the 25, 26, we'll call it. That's a good run right there. Isaac's rolling around on the ground again. They're cutting him. That's what they're doing. Juan Morales coming back in for him. I think they're cutting and rolling on him, but I could be wrong. If we'd slow down a second, I would be able to watch this on replay here. First and ten for your Lizards. Looks like the same play there. Another good hole there. Chamber good run. still running. Good run. It's down there to about the 10 or I will call it the 11 or 12. I can't see real good. We'll call that the 11. How about 11 and a half? No, you're right, 12. Okay. First and 10 at the 12. <laughs> and uh, so we can possibly get a first down if we need one. I'd like to go ahead and just pick up 12 and be done with it. First and 10 from the 12 of, the, of Apache 12. Possible's tightened up a time or two when we've got down in this area. Blake's got the ball again. He's getting he down there to about few. the six. Considering six he got seven. Considering he got, um, considering he got kind of clogged up in the backfield, he, yeah. he kind of got that one on his own. Isaac Carl's back in. I'm really glad to see some of these young young folk being able to come in and, you know, give a play or two when needed. Yes, um, sir. That, that helps us out a little bit. Makes me feel a little better. Oh, good play right there. Metcalf still going. Look here. Touchdown. That's going to be a touchdown for your sand lizards. We're going to go for two, I bet you. Yeah, we might. I believe you're correct. 5.59 on the score clock, third quarter. We're going to go for two here. Metcalf breaks the huddle. We've got Twins to Pottsville's boundary. We've got Chambers to the right of him. Man in motion over. Got trips over. Boom, right there it is. That little Jorge Alvarez. Look easy. Jorge Alvarez with a two point conversion. That brings your score Dardanelle 35. Pot for zero. And if I'm not mistaken, that means what? Uh, I believe the clock is going to cut loose and run wild. Woo! Lizards. That's right. Maybe the second half won't be near as long as the first half. Five fifty nine on the clock. Your score, Dardnell thirty five. Once again, Dardnell thirty five. Hey, what'd you what you think about that touchdown? I liked it. Our our executive producer liked that touchdown, y'all. Five fifty nine, first and ten on the clock, but we don't have first and ten here because we haven't kicked the ball That's off right. yet. So I was getting ahead of myself. Marlon is kicking it off. It's a little different spin. Mm, bouncing off the ground, he still ain't got it. We got him down there now. And that's oh. a late hit, yep. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I don't necessarily agree with that one. I don't, but considering. Giving them a little help. I don't give them a little help. Clock should be running, though. Well, that's giving possible something to cheer about over there because they haven't had very much to be able to do that about. We'll roll the clock. Maybe they'll start it now and let it run. It's been a while since we've mercy ruled somebody. First and 10 for Pottsville. Ball's going to be just shy of the 35 at the 34-yard line. They're going twins. Hmm. 
Oh, 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 look at there. We got a pick. And he could go all the way. He's rumbling, bumbling, stumbling. And he gets brought down out of bounds at about the six or seven yard line. Run clock. That made up for the pass he dropped in the end zone down here. So I know that made him feel a lot better. Would have made him feel much better if he could have scored on that one. It's going to be first and ten for your San Lizard. It's going to be first and go for your San Lizard. Sam made a great pick there. Why are they not running the clock? I, I don't get it. I mean, we had to change of possession. First and go. Ball's going to be at about the uh, seven. Look at here, look at here. Touchdown, we'll Darnell. Six. We'll take another six. Boy, that was a quick six, too, right there. 427 and counting, because that clock's going to move. Oh. I believe he got it in there. Uh-oh. Got a little extracurricular activity going on down there. See what we got here. With 425 left to go in the third quarter, Dardnell 42, Pottsville 0. Sorry for the hesitation and the pause. We really have no idea what, I mean, I, we know what, we've watched it. We know what's going on. But so I guess we're going to. like conduct penalty. Like we're going to kick off from there, 45. I don't decide to kick it. <laughs> they're, ne they, they're never expected. Never expected. That's right. Pull that now, though. I try to push it to about the three. Then run down there and tackle him. Kick it real high. 425. Left to go in the third quarter. 42 to zero. He's going to put this in two. No, look at here. Look at here. Yeah, just a little pooch. On to the one. Look at there. Now we just got to tackle him. There we go. Got him down at about the 15 or 16. They're going to place it right at the 15, I bet you. Well, 4.08 left to go in the third quarter, and the clock is rolling this time. It's uh, your sand lizard. I almost said cyclones. Your sand lizard's 42. Uh, possible Apache zero. Thanks to all of our kind folks back across the river. Yell County Gin, Dardanelle Tire, McCormick Family Dentistry, Kirkley Family Medical Clinic, Malibu Trucking, even though they're on this side of the river, but uh, Witt Farms, all those fine folk that help us and help our kids on a daily basis. Apostle's going to have it first and 10. They're in shotgun formation. Got twins to their boundary. Back to pass, and uh, he don't know where he's going deep right here, and it's going to be a duck. Oh. He can't expect him to I, – I, I'm sorry, but Coach can't expect him to – I mean, that's – I don't know if it's still raining or not, but uh, – It is, yeah. I can still see it over against the trees. That ball slick and wet. And the executive producer had to double-check the rain there. It's three minutes and counting.
first, excuse me, second down and 10. Second down and 10. They don't have it changed the down. That's the only good thing about them passing. If you, even if it's incomplete, that clock's not stopping. They're going twins back to their boundary. DJ Brown on the tackle. Oh, that was not, that was pretty weak out there uh, that time by, by our linebacker. Tracy got to hit that kid low. He's a big, big feller. 17's a big boy. Yes, he is. They're going to have third and short here. Third and short. Two twelve on the game clock. Third and about a yard. Twins to our side this time. Wide side of the field. The quarterback is now. Oh, that was a little hole in there, but they didn't call it. They did not call it whatsoever. Yeah, 34 didn't like it, son. Man, he got hammered. Man down. He's getting up a little slow. Their coaches don't seem too concerned about 34 coming to them. Well, Coach Russ going to go out and see him. Possible's going to have it first and 10. Number 12, Connor Carpenter in at quarterback. They're going single receiver to their wide side. Oh, get the ball, get the ball. Look at there. Finkenbinder come up with it. Almost had him a scoop and score. Oh, <laughs> you know what he was thinking, boy. Yeah, I do. Scoop and score, scoop and score. That's right. We're going to have it first and 10 after another possible Apache fumble. turnover. Be first down and 10 on the 16 yard line. We're going JV offense. JV, well, JV back. our line, JV backs. JV backs and receivers. Trace Gentry at quarterback. DJ Brown gets hit and gets hit again. Well, and you're, you're, he's gonna, down. you're gonna get a hit when you tippy toe to the line. Yes, you are. Another man down. No helmet. Helmet all fair and 33 seconds on the game clock, third quarter. Dardanelle 42, Pottsville zero. We're probably going to let this one run out. I'm going to tell you, just like what we said earlier, I did not see this one coming. Not, not. In, I mean, I, I really thought we could pull out a victory, but I, I just, I really am surprised with how, um, with how this one's just panned out totally. I yeah. just to be honest with you. I, I'm tickled to death. We'll have we'll host Waldron next Friday night. Uh, we'll host Waldron next Friday night at home. Seven o'clock game time. We'll be on live about six fifty or thereabouts uh, for a little pregame show. Dardanelle forty-two, Pottsville zero. Start the fourth quarter. The clock will run. Not as much as I wanted it to run. I, <laughs> we're stopping it, I think, more than I would like for it to stop. But anyway, uh, we're going to come right on back out after the horn blew and see if this, what we can this, do here. This quarter right here, we're going to see how long 12 minutes really is. Playing at some, some uh, subs. Well, now that, will they a, stop it if we score and kick? Will they stop it then and have to? Well, I know it'll, it, change, it stops on change of possession, I believe, and – been so long since I was on the sidelines. To be honest with you. I How long has it? That, that could have been a trivia question right 11 there. Eleven years. Twelve minutes on the game clock. 
Trace Gentry at quarterback. Little change, a chain correction. They had a second and about five instead of second and about 15. Well, 16. Second down for your lizards. And here we go. Run clock. Look here, DJ. Come on, make the corner. Well, you got to keep running. Baker's unhappy about something over. Going to be going to be third and about nine. Third and nine. Ball's going to be at about the fifteen yard line, thereabouts. We're going trips to our short side of the field. Trace, 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 trace. Snap was low. Yep. Going to bring the field goal crew in here. Here's a snap, balls down, kicks up, and it is good. Hits off the bottom pole and bounces in. That's a that's a Dardanelle roll right there, baby. <laughs> I ain't never seen a knuckleball like that. Get over the <laughs> go post. Hey, we'll take it though. That brings your score 45 Dardanelle, possible zero with 10 29 to play in the fourth quarter, and we'll be back in just a second. Ball's placed at the 40. Jacinto. Little knuckleball. I'm going to tell you, he, he's about sick and tired of carrying the ball. is tired of returning the ball. He's ready for somebody else to get it. Possible going to have it first and 10. Possible's going to have it first and 10. I can guarantee you that we'll probably play some subs on offense. We're probably not going to play subs on defense. First and 10, ball's just shy of the 25-yard line of Pottsville. Ball's going to be, we'll call it the 25. First and 10 for Pottsville. 9.45 and running. Twins. Ball's on the ground again. They recovered that one. I don't know what do we got. I, I've lost count. Is that about eight or so? About eight fumbles, I believe. Be second and about thirteen. They got more fumbles than I can count on one hand. So that's that's quite a bit there. Nine thirteen left to go. Clock rolling. Forty five zero. Forty five zero. 
Oh, oh, big 70 boy, he's he's just out there trying to that, punish folks that's now. That's not real nice. Somebody needs to explain to him. I like its effort, but uh, somebody needs to explain to him uh, how we do and don't do. I think uh, that one boy said third, look up there at the scoreboard. Third and 11. I just hope our guys keep their calm. Yeah. Is Brock out there? No. Oh, that's probably a good thing. Third and 11 for Pottsville. They're going single receivers both sides. Double tight. Balls on the, Balls ground. On the ground again, and we're going to take and it again. And we got it. That's fumble number nine. They're wearing that center and guard out. Yep. Pottsville's got it on the ground again. Be first and ten. Well, they've had uh, – we've had almost as many procedure penalties as they had fumbles. <laughs> Be first and ten. Trace Gentry in at quarterback again, D.J. Brown. First and ten for your Dardanelle Sand Lizards. Ball's going to be at about the um, quarterback Trace. keeper. Trace out there. And he is met rudely by two or three of the Apaches. <laughs> he he kind of mouthed back at him. I like that. Good job, Trace. They thudded him pretty good standing up. Probably got him underneath the chin, if I was guessing. Yeah. He's going to pick up a couple. Going to be second down at about eight. Second down at about eight. Uh, this shows some true character. I'll just be perfectly honest with you. I, I, I hate it. Um, but uh, down 45 to nothing, and, and uh, true colors start shining. Both ways, just to be perfectly honest with you. Yeah. DJ Brown with a handoff, and, and a he swarmed. A handoff and a tippy toe. Yep. Need to play some music. Um, Dun, 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 He's got dun, dun, to hit dun, dun, that hole dun. harder. Yeah. We're sending another flight. We're sending our our JV offensive line out. Third and about seven or eight. Six oh five on the game clock. I hate it for the center coming in cold. I don't. I didn't see him snapping over here at all. But. No. Hey, look who's down there underneath the tent down there still. Shot. DJ runs into Trace. Hey. There you go. Cuts up there and gets about. He ran the ball five. all over that time. Yes, he did. Good, Good looking run. On me fourth and about four. Fourth Field goal units coming in. Four. It's fourth and four. Mr. Yeah, they, they didn't. Well, he just looked at the stick. They hadn't moved it yet. Marlone is in to attempt the field goal. I'd love for them to jump off sides right here. And that one's going to be a little short. That's uh, short. I don't know if that. I don't think he just good. got under. Might have kicked his. Now I thought he was holding his hand there. He might have kicked his fingers. Oh. With 4:46 and counting, Dardanelle 45, Pottsville zero. That clock's still rolling. Me likey. I like it a lot. Going to be first and 10 for possible. Ball's going to be right at the 20 yard line. 426 and counting. Don't forget next Friday night at Dardanelle. They're playing the Waldron Bulldogs. Another conference ball game.
Also, I believe October the 6th, I think, Russell, is the – we got it again. I'm telling you, fumble number 10. And we got a personal foul here. And they finally got here. number 70, finally. Yep. Vegas telling those guys, keep your mouth shut, don't say anything. That's going to take it way down. That's going to take it all the way down to about the three, probably. Yep. Well, they caught it from back there, but we got to, I mean, we can't go back from where the penalty's at. I'm assuming that's going to be an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. There you go. Dead ball, personal foul on the defense. Well, it was on the offense, on the kicking team. So on the ball is going to be on about the eight, nine, eight yard line. Wow. Be first and goal from the eight. That's not bad field position. Not bad. Look at here, look at here. Good block right there. Come on, look at there. That's Not a touchdown. Not it is. That's the German. That's the exchange student. That's right. Look at there. He got him one. I have no idea what his last name is, but that's David. That's David. David K. Kravazig. What's that scoreboard say, Russell? Uh, right now it says 51 0 in favor of your sand lizards. We're going to try to make it 52 here. And that was straight JV right there. Yes, it was. Ball is up. I believe Adam's good. And look at there 52 to nothing. 330 left to go in the fourth quarter. Dardanelle 52. Pots full, zero. We'll be back in just a second. What, what is the rule on that, on your personal foul? You just, if you get two, you yep. got to sit out a game? Yep. Pretty good kick there. Going to bounce it about the, to about the eight and gets it up there. Well, that's about one of the best run backs they've had. Bring 14 in. and counting. We're going to have our JV, JV defense. defense in. 52-0. It's kind of like the uh, Arkansas-North Texas game. Boys, I'm going to tell you, we brought in some meat on that, on that defensive line. Yes, boy. we did. Those are all sophomores. 71. Who's number 71 out there? Gavin Elder. Early. And 74 would be Rhett Merritt. 76 would be Ethan Bishop. Oh, fumble there on the snap again. 12 out there. Got a man in the flat, and he drops it. They're still wearing 24 out out there. Yeah. I'd tap out if I see him. 
Be second down and ten. He might be bruised for church tomorrow. You know what I mean? He is coming out this time. They putting some other offensive linemen in. Thirty-three is a big feller. Caden Carruthers. One fifty and counting. Fifty-two to zero. Your Dardanelle Sand Lizards are leading. The pots full of Apaches. Back to pass number 12. Had one wide open there. Throwed it a little bit high. In and out of number, who was that, number three's hands there? Yeah. It's going to bring up second and ten right here for your Apaches. We've emptied the bench. I think the ball girls are going in next. Yeah. That, well, there ain't enough of them, so they're going to have to send some of the cheerleaders in there with them. Going to be going to be third and ten. Got one minute even on the game clock right here at Cyclone Stadium. We're thankful that Russell allowed this to happen, and uh, we'll be back home next Friday night, hoping. Weather permitting, ain't that right? Boy, deep pass right here. Two's got it. Look at here. He's going to go. Possible's going to get on the board. With 40 seconds left to go, possible scores. Going to be 52 to 6 right now. I know, I know our boys wanted that goose egg up there on the board, but hey. Yes, they did. Six ain't going to hurt them. You know, number two's. Still one of their starting running backs. Um, you know, we've got our we, – we literally have emptied the bench, and they've still got several starters out yeah. there. Yeah. But – Going for two there. and There you go. Shoulder him a little bit. Yep. Well, with 38 seconds left to go in the ball game, Possible's on the board with six, and your sand lizards racking up 52. I uh, sure wanted that goose egg. Yeah. We'll take six. You know, that's what back in the day, back in my day, son, that was incentive for us big boys on defense because however many points the team scored, that's how many win sprints we had to run that next yeah. week. So there's about three weeks in a row there we shut our opponent hey, some, out. Somebody needs to tell Rashad the game's not over. Oh, is he, look at there. He's he's sneaking out of he here, got, ain't he? He got his little umbrella up. No. It's little – Real light rain. I can still see it over. So with 38 seconds left to go on the game clock, your Sand Lizards 52. Pottsville Apaches 6. You know, we've talked about this before, and, and I'm going to be very honest with you. I did not see this score coming the, the way it turned out at all today. I sure didn't. No. Dardanelle's going to improve to 4-0. and on the season, and Pottsville is going to drop to one and three. You know, and to be honest, I mean, you can't, I, and I hate it for them, but you can't fumble ten times. Nope. Because that right there is about what's going to happen every time you do. I believe the clock's going to wheel down there. We got 15 left. We ain't going to get another play out. Teams are lining up on the 50. We'll come out there and shake hands. And there's your ball game right there, folks. 52 to 6. Russell, if you'd have told me this on last week, not not that I didn't think we could pull out a victory, I just not think that we would do this in dominating fashion. I understand that we had lots of help. Possibly put the ball on the ground lots of times, but but we helped them in that. We we yep. did things to disrupt things. Yes, the ball was wet, but we had to play with the same ball, well, our own ball, but not yep. their ball. But you know, um, just the way it is, you know. And and um, I, I'm so tickled with our kids and how hard they played and our coaching staff and and um, man, it. Domination. No, I guarantee you, that's exactly what it was. Dominating style tonight, and I'm so, 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 so tickled uh, for them. 
Um, so we'll be live next Friday night at home, 7 o'clock, as the Dardanelle Sand Lizards, 4-0, and will host the Waldron We'll host the Waldron Bulldogs. Hey, and I, I just want to let everybody know, make sure if you don't get a chance to come out to the game, make sure you're tuning in next Friday night. We're going to have a little special treat for you. Uh, we're going to be giving something real special let away. Me, let me just throw this as a little hint. I know some of you might have already quit listening, but next Friday night we're going to we're gonna go in depth and have a special interview. November the, November the 15th. Uh, the baddest little show on earth is coming to Russell on November the 15th. And um, we're going to unveil um, a special guest in the press box next next Friday night uh, that's going to be part of the baddest little show on earth on November the 15th at Russell at 8 o'clock. And um, I can't talk too much about it, but uh, if you all have checked out Facebook, you know exactly what I'm talking about with the baddest little show on earth. Midget Wrestling is coming to Russellville on the 15th of November. That's right. We have a big announcement next Friday night. Don't miss it because I guarantee you, you'll want to hear it. Hey, don't forget Bass Tournament, Basketball Booster Club Bass Tournament, November, excuse me, October the 6th. Uh, Make sure you find Coach Sturdivant, um, uh, Kirk uh, Spears, uh, other folks there in the Basketball Booster Group that can get you taken care of. Make sure you get signed up and uh, support our basketball booster club. Uh, junior high sand lizards, they're undefeated as well. Rolling and going. Got Walter next week as well. Big time for the lizards. That's right. Right here at Russell, Arkansas on this Saturday afternoon. So for Tyler Turnbow on the camera, for Russell Brown here with us, for our executive producer, Connor Keeling today, I'm John David Keeling. You've been listening to Lizard Live. Have a great, safe rest of your weekend.